Texas. From the University of 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 Texas Health Science Center at Houston. I'm Dr. Red Duke. Still sorry. I really believe anybody can understand almost anything, no matter how technical, if the language used by the communicator is such that the person is familiar with it. Now you probably wonder, what's he doing messing with the jackhammer? Now using this same principle, doctors are literally vibrating apart kidney stones in the human body. Everybody knows that if you race your car engine too much for too long, something is going to wear out, and the same thing is true of your body. If some condition causes your body engine to burn its fuel too fast, something will break. You know, there's something about a really beautiful sunny day that makes most of us just want to get outside and enjoy it. But you also got to admit, you may not always be doing your skin a favor. You know, for those of us that grew up below the Mason-Dixon line, we don't think we've eaten unless we've got sweat coming off our brow. Our head starts itching. You know, this potato is really a pretty good friend. The trouble is we kind of abuse it all the time. I tell you, I think so much of them. I eat two or three of Jen's potatoes like that every week. Now, it's time we started giving this thing the kind of respect that it's due. Being a cowboy won't make you bow legged. But it will warp you in a few other ways, right? You know, it's perfectly natural for anybody to want to get the best deal they can for the lowest cost and the least effort, and that's certainly true in health affairs as well. well let me tell you, we can sure thank our research scientists for making that possible for us in a lot of ways. The doctor will make a tiny incision in the side, pass the scope through the body and into the kidney, and identify the stone. But thanks to the laparoscope, a whole lot of information can be gathered and sometimes a definitive treatment carried out a whole lot easier. Lots of folks that survive multiple episodes of these arrhythmias because of these little implantable defibrillators that shock their hearts back into a regular rhythm. It's really amazing. There's something about the serenity of a high mountain ridge that really brings a calm to my mind. It's a place where I can get a little perspective on who it is I am and what it is I'm doing in this crazy world we live and work in. For me, it's really real recreation. There's no question that life is more stressful now than it was 20, 25 years ago. We live in a world of stress-making gadgets. Everybody today seems to have a fax machine. Everybody has a cellular phone. Everybody has a pager. You know, there's something really calming about the end of the day in the woods. There's a brook running over here behind me. The night creatures are just beginning their chorus. It's the sort of thing that really does calm down your soul. It's the sort of thing I hope you can find a little bit out tonight. For the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, I'm Dr. Red Deer.